Hi there and welcome to another edition of The Cardiac Cook. My name is John. I have an assistant today though. Welcome and introduction to my son. This is Riley. Hi. Say hi Riley. How are you guys? My son Riley, my assistant today. Yeah. We're both wearing cool oh, t-shirts sure. today. Oh, you didn't go to Cuba though. No, no. no I wish I did. But you I didn't am. invite me. <laughs> but I'm Homer Simpson today. <laughs> Which is better? Okay, today we're going to make ourselves uh, spaghetti squash with spaghetti. Uh, we'll do the spaghetti squash up in the Instapot. And uh, we're going to do our own homemade spaghetti uh, sauce itself with uh, marinara meat. And of course tomato and a whole bunch of fixings and that sort of thing. So I hope you have fun. Go ahead and watch. Share it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hey, welcome to the ingredient section. So we're going to be using some extra lean ground beef, 500 grams. We're going to use one fairly large onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, some oregano, some basil, some Italiano spice, and some garlic plus spice, along with one or two bay leaves. We'll be using uh, some mushrooms, a good amount of celery, some uh, green pepper, or red peppers, uh, some organic tomato sauce. This stuff is um, probably our highest part of salt today. Uh, it's 2% every quarter cup, uh, which is about 12% for the total can. And we'll be using about a can, can and a half. Um, depending on um, consistency, we might go have to go up to two cans. And then we'll be using a nice spaghetti squash instead of noodles, because this is a lot better in the sodium department. And honestly, I find it tastes just the same, if not a little bit better. Um, and then we'll be making, obviously, some garlic bread, as we do need some of that. Okay, so let's get started. Yeah, it's time for some spaghetti. It's about That's medium it. heat. Go ahead, cut it open. About three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just throwing it. Cry too. Oh, that's fine. All right, and let that go to translucent a little bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll get add some of our uh, yeah some of our spices. Let's go with the oregano. So some oregano. Oregano. More basil next. This is about. Oh, that's a lot. No, I like lots. All right. Okay, basil. Brazil. Come to Brazil. 
Okay. Italiano. As much as you like, as little as you like. Well, there could be so much as too much as you like. But, you know, to taste. Always to taste. Garlic plus. Yep. And ground beef and celery. Well, we're going to stir it up a little bit first. That should be good. Make sure you don't burn your, your spices, though. Get nicely mixed it in. Yep, you bet. All right, let's get our meat in there, then. Flip <laughs> it over, flip it over. Sure, yep. And I like to break my meat up lots. Right off the bat. Make sure it doesn't clump up too big clumps. I like small. Just getting a little bit cooked here, but it needs to cook a little bit more. Making sure it's all broken up good. Okay. So I think it's about ready for the vegetables, you think? Yeah, I'm thinking so too. So what do we got? We got peppers. And celery. Celery. And mushrooms. Now some water, just to help soften everything up. Steam it. Put the lid on it. We'll steam it up for about five to ten minutes that way. All right, steaming for about ten minutes. Yeah, use that's it. a little toasty. Use it up a bit, guys. Uh, that's one of the assistant, not the full cook. Stir it up. Oh yeah. That's looking good. Is it? Well, I think it's time for some tomato and basil. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, Bailey. Put that away. I put it away, actually. I handed it to you. Get every last drop. Oh, by the way, did you hear that slab? That was the wife that left. Oh, yeah. So, guess what? Garlic bread. Guess what? We're getting some Oh, no. Well, the wife's away. Guess what? What? Pepper! Pepper! <laughs> Where's the pepper? Are you allowed pepper? Only, <laughs> when, only when she's not here to see it. Oh, yeah, because then she doesn't know what's in it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Just a little bit. Nope, more than that. That's good. That's bay leaf and the second tomatoes. Yeah, well, I think we're gonna need the second one. Well, stir this, stir this one up. Yeah, it's all just in one spot. Yeah, I think we're gonna need the whole thing. Good idea. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's not liquidy enough. Now, it's simmer time. Yes, it's always good to let your spaghetti sauce simmer for a little longer. Get the flavor throughout the whole thing. Okay, so while that's simmering away, nice and slowly, turn it down. It's just going to simmer probably for 20, 30 minutes or so. Uh, we're going to get started on our uh, spaghetti squash. We're going to instant pot that. Yeah, we're going to instant pot that. Okay, so we're going to do our spaghetti squash, and we're going to do that in our Instant Pot today, over here. And it only takes, honest to God, it only takes like four minutes of pressure cooking to be able to do a spaghetti squash. Uh, maybe a, a, a five minutes or so of release, and then a quick release after that. It does not take very long at all. 
We're going to prep our spaghetti squash up next. All right, cut your spaghetti squash to the length. Sometimes they can be pretty tough. That's probably the hardest part of the job. It's like cutting a watermelon. I know. Not fun. It is. We'll scoop out the inners, insides of it. Hey, Riley, can you get our uh, uh, olive oil? Yes, I can. And the garlic plus? Oh, yeah, those two things that you told me to put away? Uh, yep. Yeah. Here's the garlic plus for you. Now what I like to do, I like to get a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay. It's about a tablespoon. And then we put some garlic plus in there. Use my spoon to stir it up. synthetic brush. We're gonna spread it. Spread it nice on the spread spread it nicely. inside. Inside and out. Oh the inside mostly because we want it to flavor a little bit. Okay, your spaghetti squash is going to go in our Instapot here. Set them side by side. We'll pour half a cup of water. I don't think that was a half a cup. <laughs> I didn't measure. I think I need a little more. Certainly, uh, Chef John is uh, bad at measuring. I, I'm good at the measure thing. <laughs> Just like you are very I'm SMRT. And the pepper thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're good at the SMRT. Yeah. I've never actually used one of these, so. Haven't you? No. Mom has one, you have one, like. Let's go, with, let's go with one, five too. minutes. Five minutes, okay. Five minutes and about five minutes of depressurizing. Okay, we're at our midpoint here. We got our five minutes of pressure cooking done. Now we're gonna let it uh, rest for five more minutes and then we'll do a quick release. These. <laughs> you never used it. You've never used a pressure cooker before. No, I, this well, is it. the only one I have was to make MREs, but that's it. Make what? Like military rations. <laughs> you did that with yeah. a pressure cooker? Yeah. Okay. They do it in the field. Okay. So you can hit the manual button there or the off button, the yellow one. Hit it. No, the one with the yellow light on. Turns that okay. off. Ooh. Then turn that sideways. That's it. Oh. Tough one. Tough one. How about you stir up our spaghetti sauce? Yeah, that's, that's something I'm better at. How does this smell, Riley? Like spaghetti sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that's the way it would smell. Yeah, you know. That's looking good, nice and cooked. Can maybe <clears throat> use a bit of time without the uh, lid to get some liquid out, but. Yeah, just, yeah, let it be. I've turned it down a little bit, simmering. Very good. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, quite certain that's done. We'll find out, I guess, whether it comes apart or not. If not, we're putting it back in. Uh oh. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. It I've done be. this before. <laughs> okay. Get our spaghetti squash out of the Instapot here. It's very hot. Use gloves. Excellent. It definitely smells soft. I'm going to put it apart into a bowl. Yeah, 
use your mitten because it's really and a fork. Yeah, you gotta make it into spaghetti somehow. Why don't you come on the other side, Ronnie? Ready? Just pick it apart. Oh yes. Oh yeah, that's just falling apart. Uh huh. It's like some like those ribs you made uh, the other day. It's coming apart. The riblets. Oh, those are, those look really good. I wish I was here for that. Get right. the other side. Oh no, I won't. Don't it's getting hot on my hand. Oh. And now you guys have a hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you turn it into a hat if you wanted to. Oh, she's getting toasty. Yeah. Uh, things that come out of a pressure cooker are hot, Dad. <laughs> I'm not wearing my know-it-all shirt. Yeah, because you don't know it all. <laughs> Get that out of there. Was that just? Oh, that's a piece that's of skin. That's a piece of skin. Yeah. Don't put pieces of skin in your uh, spaghetti. Oh, this one's coming out easy. Oh yeah. I won't call it fall off the bone, but fall off the skin, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna save that, keep it warm. Our spaghetti is, sauce is over there still simmering. Okay, so we're gonna do our garlic toast. I got a bit of one that's uh, just fresh out of the freezer there. We're gonna make some garlic toast. And I've got a new one over there. We'll save that. Another time. <laughs> we got company over today. Yeah. yeah. One being me. And today we're using um, Johnny's garlic spread. This is actually a pretty low sodium variety using, um, it has 3% in per quarter teaspoon, which actually isn't too bad. So. Considering most others will have a lot more. Low sodium or uh, no salt added butter? Yeah, no salt butter. A little bit of butter on each of these for garlic toast. And fire, up, fire up the broiler. Oh yeah. Oh. Set it to what high? Go in the low, actually. Uh, just hit broil twice. Yeah, it goes on low start. There we go. All you gotta do is put some a little bit of the butter on there and then put the spread on. Boom done. I got this. Oh we're doing parchment. Oh we're doing parchment today. for cleanup. There you go. Yeah, go make your cleanup easier. A little spread out here. And into the Ooh, Show that to the camera. Ooh, that garlic bread looks good. I like yeah. to set my timer. No, just go wait for it to be done. Right, I like to set my timer and make sure you don't burn the toast. <laughs> Three minutes, maybe. But at least three minutes will save it, it won't burn. <laughs> Great, there we um, go. Garlic toast. Perfect. Timer. I haven't done my overreaction yet. Oh, yeah, you always do that. I haven't done the overreaction that is done. Set it for two seconds and do it. Okay, ready? Are you ready? It's done! Oh, well, now it's time for a taste test, I think. Taste test. 
You bet. Oh yeah. Bring that spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, hey, taste test done by Roddy. Yeah, this time I get to taste test it Ready? instead of him. So. Some spaghetti. A little more than that, you bet. Oh yeah. Spread it out kind of flat. Oh, maybe a little more. Some soup. Spaghetti sauce. You want some of that Parmesan that I can't have? Yeah, the Parmesan you can't have, but I can. Oh, here we go. A little bit of Parmesan on there. I could probably have about that much. No, yeah, I'd wash it. <laughs> that's good. Oh yeah. Oh, that's really good. Bon appetit. All right, did you have fun? Yeah, I had a good amount of fun. Thanks for having me on. Tasted good, didn't it? Oh, that was, I want to have a nap now, so. <laughs> <laughs> time for a nap. Yeah. Oh. Like I say all the time, like and share. I give you permission to be a subscriber. I hope you had fun. Thanks for watching. Cardiac Cook. And I'm Riley. John.